This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound, and if you'll notice, I have added uh, some FIB levels here uh, to the daily chart. And we can see the prices did come down to that 61.8, uh, rallied a little bit. Um, so the reason I wanted to just bring these up, I, it's not very clean because we do have uh, a couple of closes beneath the 61.8, not really what you want to see. Uh, with that being said, there, there still is a chance that prices could be forming uh, some sort of a, a double bottom here near that 61.8 FIB. So let me zoom in a little bit closer here and, and show you the, the exact trade that, that I'm thinking about. And that would be keeping, first of all, the most important thing is keeping the risk incredibly tight but I'm going to use the low of this candle right here uh, in the 8462 uh, area and that's going to be my reference point I want to place my stop about 10 to 15 pips beneath the wick of that candle and then I would look to enter maybe uh, 10 to 15 pips above there so again keeping the risk very small about a 30 pip uh, 30 pips of risk on the trade and, and again the upside could be near that 87 figure but again um, my confidence in this particular trade idea is low uh, but the risk to reward uh, as long as you wait for the, the favorable entry will still be um, very favorable in terms of risk to reward the next chart is the Aussie Kiwi and not much has changed here uh, sort of just uh, consolidating here after, after a large rally I did add uh, a channel line here it's not very clean I kinda uh, if you will as soon as I added these lines I felt as though I had fit the line uh, into the price action so right there that's that that's a main reason um, to be a little tentative in terms of my analysis but uh, moving forward right now prices are at the upper end uh, of that channel at the upper resistance line and as I said I don't have a lot of confidence uh, in this channel line but I might have a slight uh, bearish bias uh, against the most recent highs and that would be uh, let me get the price level for you uh, exactly just beneath that 127 figure about 126.75 uh, so that might be my um, my bear where I would have that be that tentative bearish bias against but again I it, this similar to the, to the euro pound I would need to get the most favorable entry possible uh, in order to justify the risk because my confidence is low with this trade idea the next chart is the pound Swiss not much has changed here still just waiting for prices to come down and test that longer term uh, support line located right now uh, just beneath that 175 figure formed from the late 2008 low and the mid March low uh, so moving forward now also uh, a possibility is, is a double top pattern let me zoom in here and give you a better idea of that uh, that would be using this price point here which is just above uh, the 81 figure and prices right now in the 7950 area so that could be a, a trade set up it's something that I would li actually like to see in real time and what I mean by that is I'd like to see prices come up maybe above that 81 81 figure uh, and make and make a high similar to this high over here and then see a little bit of a sell-off at that point I might enter a trade uh, on the short side but again the the main trade idea here is waiting for prices to come down and test that longer term support line the next chart is the euro swiss and not much has changed here uh, this is the longer term resistance line that i've been using for the past several months now and as i mentioned we did have the break above i was waiting for prices to come down and test the line which they did but we did have a few closes beneath so it wasn't very clean but then we do have a, a strong rally now uh, in terms of the pair uh, what i want to do now actually is add a, a simple uh, support line which we can use uh, as a reference point moving forward um, so if you don't have any position right now what I would suggest is just waiting for prices to come down and test this longer term support line formed by the mid-March low and this would be the early um, actually the late June low right here so this is a, a reference point that we can use uh, moving forward and again this is only about 75 to 100 pips beneath the current price action so it's certainly something we can keep an eye on for the next 24 to 48 hours again we'd look to enter maybe just a few pips above the line with a stop maybe 50 to 75 pips beneath the line again my name is matt russell i'm an fx power course instructor here at fxcm thanks for listening